Hi, everybody. My name is Vicki Lee. If you like my teaching, please like, share, and subscribe. We are going to talk about fear, and we are going to talk about fear in relationships, and we are going to talk about how fear tears apart relationships, how it destroys. It doesn't matter whether it's at work, if it's in your family, if it's in your marriage, if it's with your children, um, if with your friendships. Fear destroys. And so we're going to go to a scripture verse, and this is going to be central to our teachings, although we're going to do some other things as well, and look into the Bible and show you how you can get free from this problem. This is an international problem. I say we do not have a political problem. We have a spiritual problem. We do not have marital problems. We have spiritual problems. We do not have family problems. We have spiritual problems. We do not have... Um, people being let go in the workplace because they're unworkable. That is not the root of the problem. It is a spiritual problem. So we're going to talk about 1 John 4, 19. And it says, there is no fear in love, but perfect love has out fear because fear involves punishment. And the one who fears is not perfected in love. We love because he first loved us. Let's do that again. There is no fear in love, none, none. But perfect love casts out fear because fear involves punishment. It involves punishment. And the one who fears is not perfected in love. We love because he first loved us. There you have it. So, what is it? And I have heard that there are two emotions that everything is built on. And there it gets down to simplicity, doesn't it? We got to get simple if we're ever going to crack these codes. There's love and there's fear. Two emotions that everything is built on. Now, in love, you don't have fear. But if you have fear, you're going to have punishment. And we're going to talk about that punishment. And we're going to talk about how when you carry fear, you're going to carry punishment to others. And we're going to go through the wide lens and the comprehensiveness of the different parts of fear. Are you fearful? Do you feel like it's for good reason? Have you been um, hurt? Have you had people turn on you? Um, I know that in my own life, you know, you see people because I'm 60, so I'm not 20 anymore, and I'm not 40, and when you get into my age groups, and then people are single because there's been so much divorce, and some people are, even have mates that have died or whatnot, and then you look out in the world, and you look out at what's happened in your own life, and you try to start putting a new life together with somebody else that has been hurt, and um, possibly, you know, drug through the mud, and then you you can have two people standing at the, the plate that really want to have a life with each other, but there's fear. And then what happens? Do you destroy what could be a great relationship because of fear? Not just in this, but in everything. So we're going to tackle these issues. Come in with me on this series. We're going to go point by point by point on what happens in relationships. Stay with me. Let's crack these codes. You know, I'm a Christian speaker. I bring you the Bible. I bring you Christ because it's for freedom that we're set free. That's where your freedom lies. Freedom from the destruction. And we're going to talk about even if you've had to face your worst fear, what does that mean then? What does that mean? If you're standing in destruction, what does that mean for you? Stay with me. Let's enjoy this series. Let's get into it. My name is Vicki Lee. If you like my teaching, please like, share, and subscribe.